I'm sorry about this angle. It's very casual and I look bold because I mean bun life. Um, but if you're watching this video, also I have no lipstick on so I may look a bit ghostly. Um, but if you're watching this video, then you will know that I am pregnant with baby number two. Today is the 15th of July 2021 um and yeah crazy but basically when I was pregnant with Jasper I uploaded weekly videos of how my pregnancy was progressing I haven't done that this time I just haven't had the time if I'm honest and sometimes I even forget what's happened week by week um, but what I have seen a lot of well a few youtubers do which I thought I might join the hype with is actually just upload like a first trimester video but like do like a weekly update if that makes sense so like today I'm like nine weeks so I'll update you on my ninth week and then next week will be ten weeks so I'll do another little clip to update on the ten weeks going forth um but because obviously I am nine weeks and I, I'm only just starting this video I have been pretty organized and written down on my phone how I've been feeling week by week because I found out I was pregnant on the 10th of June um, and I was around four weeks pregnant then so I found out pretty early pretty like as soon as you can um, so I'm just going to talk to you through the fourth fifth sixth seventh and eighth week and that would be that and then obviously like I'm nine weeks so I'll talk you through all that and then we'll go on to talk about the ninth week and so on. So basically, in week four, I've got written down spotting slash implantation bleeding. So I don't know if another video would have gone up on my like trying to conceive, maybe, or like how I found out I was pregnant. But basically, a few days before I found out I was pregnant, I was spotting, which isn't unusual for me before a period. So I kind of didn't think anything of it. But obviously it must have been implantation bleeding because your girl's pregnant then I have mood swings written down um I was also grieving I still am but at this point I was grieving quite a lot because I'd had, literally had just lost my granddad so I felt quite numb to the world and then I would feel really sad and then have waves of happiness because of knowing I'm growing a human and yeah it was quite a lot of mood swings I also have written down cramping and lots of discharge. Just a heads up, this may be a TMI kind of video. I don't beat around the bush. I'm gonna be completely honest with you about everything, all the nooks and crannies of pregnancy. Um, so yeah, my discharge was ramped up a little bit. And then finally for week four, I've got bloating written down. I'm one of those people, well, I was with Jasper and I, I am with this one as well. As soon as I find out I'm pregnant, I'm pretty much bloated until I have a bump. So, um, yeah, they're like jeans are just a no go from get go, basically. So, yeah, so a lot of bloating. And then week five, I've got written down lower back dull ache once stood for a while. So, as you know, I'm a hairdresser and I'm also a cleaner uh, for school. So, I am on my feet a lot and I notice a lot in that week that my back was hurting more than it usually would um and i know that can be quite a common pregnancy symptom as well i've also got cannot go too long between meals because nausea in capital letters and that is still very much the same i just basically just eat little and often in the first trimester because it will help keep the nausea at bay i'm not going to say it cures it because obviously everyone's nausea is completely different but for me, as long as I don't do too long, I can handle the nausea. And then I've also got written here, pimples on my chin. When I found out I was pregnant with Jasper, I had a lot of breakout around here. Whereas this time around, I've not really had any breakouts, only just a few little pimples. Um, so that was what happened in week five. Moving on to week six, which is the ramped up week I would say when you find out you're pregnant um, and I've got hungover feeling which just describes the whole first trimester in general you just constantly feel hungover like you feel a bit sick but you're not really going to be sick sometimes you're hungry but you don't know what to eat nothing satisfies you you're tired your head achy you just feel rank I've also got here eating little and often 
as soon as I'm done with food, I need it to go. So as soon as I finish eating, I need it to be like out of my sight because otherwise I start to feel sick. And then I've got the 27th of June, nauseous all day. So that was obviously a bad day for me. The 29th of June, food aversion starting and even in nausea. So this was where like, I remember like little things like opening the food waste bin or opening the fridge would just like set me off. Um, and the nausea would hit me more in the evening. I could kind of get through it during the day, but it was pretty intense on the night. Week seven is a pretty big one. <sighs> Week seven. Week sevens to eight for me are like pff, the worst. But I've got very emotional, but again, it was my granddad's funeral in week seven. Uh, quite burpy, I found I was quite gassy. A chip butty is lush and I've enjoyed chicken super noodles. So all the beige comfort food ramped up in week seven. Don't want anything too sweet, so I didn't want chocolate or anything like that. Afternoon naps when I'm able to. Jasper let me for one of them, which was really sweet. Crisp sandwiches, nectarines, apples, cucumber and cheese is lovely as well. And of course carbs I've got written down here because I mean I was finally getting to that kind of like a bit of a crunch stage. I didn't mind having a few things that just weren't beige. I didn't mind a bit of colour but it needed to be crunchy. And the nectarines are still very much now like anything juicy and cold and refreshing. Give it to me. Today I felt like I was going to be sick. The saliva was intense. That was the 4th of July. I was out on a dog walk with Dan and Jasper and I had to take myself somewhere because I honestly thought I was going to vomit. And other than that, I'd only had the nausea. So that was intense. I wasn't sick because I think I stopped myself, but yeah. Anxious. I had a lot of anxious feelings in the evening during week seven. Is it week seven? Yeah. Evening headaches as well as the nausea, quite into salty foods, and then 6th of July, um, got better food-wise, told some of my mummy girls, and a cheese and onion bake from Greg's was divine, so happy days about that. Yeah, it, again, I go back to like nostalgic food when I'm pregnant, I just want everything from like my childhood and like my teen years and anything that just makes me feel really nostalgic, and of course, it's heavily carved because... Delicious. And then week eight, I've got pimples on collarbones. So I basically, like I said, I didn't really have any um, problems with my skin on my face, but I have had like a few like little random like pimples coming up on my collarbone and like up my neck here and like a couple on my back. Um, so that's where I've been getting the spots rather than at the moment on my face. Crunchy and fresh food, didn't mind a prawn salad. So I was going for a bit of a phase where I could could eat prawn salads from Tesco's or the supermarkets um and again like I said in week seven I kind of was like edging towards the crunchier foods again which was nice I put had chicken for the first time as you know I'm a pescatarian I don't eat meat um but I really really randomly craved a chicken caesar wrap from Tesco and I had one of the wraps only like that big and that was it. I didn't want it after that. And I haven't eaten meat since, but had to document it. So this has obviously been the last week because I'm now nine weeks. So this has been the last week. It's a Thursday. Um, I told my nan on the 11th of July, she said, well, I never, just like she did when I told her with Jasper. So obviously my nan lost her husband. I lost my granddad just before I found out I was pregnant. Hello? 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 Oh, just filming a little update on my pregnancy. So, it's actually Saturday today, so I'm technically 10 weeks and one day. Um, if, obviously, I haven't had my scan yet, so regardless of dates. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to talk to you about the ninth week. And let me just tell you, I don't know how I survived it. <laughs> so, if you guys will remember by the time you see this video, well, you will because it's not actually that long way. I'm sorry if the focus is not very good. What are you doing, camera? It's probably because the lighting's not very good. Um, but yeah, so basically, my week nine up until week 10 was spent during a heat wave. And when I say heat wave, I'm not exaggerating when I say we literally got to like 30 degree heat, which in the UK is just another kettle of fish like 
people need to remember we don't have things like aircon um, and we still have to work and live and life and looking after a toddler and a dog in 30 degree heat when you are feeling so sick was just hell basically so that was the main bulk of of week nine and so yeah i basically got like nauseous and feeling big so i'll explain the big part in a minute but um the nausea was it i was the nausea was just a different kettle of fish um i was actually sick for the first time ever during pregnancy um i think it was monday yeah, so today's Saturday. It would have been the Monday because I actually couldn't even go into work. Dan had to stay home. It was bad. I have a real fear of being sick. Like, I just don't like being sick. I had panic attacks. So that wasn't fun. I've also been really, really tired this week. Um, not really just like, not even like going to bed that early, but just wanting to go to bed early and then just staying up and watching like TikTok or YouTube or reading my book until like bedtime. But just wanting to be in bed a lot. Um, I've been quite snappy this week, <laughs> hormonal wise, it's been quite hard. I also have a really bad ulcer on my tongue, so if I sound a bit funny, that's why. Um, yeah, like I've been quite snappy, just short fused, just can't tolerate too much at the moment. Um, vivid dreams, let me tell you when i say i have vivid dreams like the point where i feel like i've not even slept the dreams are just intense i had a dream one night that like i went for my scan and there was a virus going around coincidentally um and babies were being born with like octopus legs and one of my fears that like freak me out is like tentacles um so that wasn't very nice because on my scan the baby had like eight legs but they were like tentacles I can't even think about it so yeah that's been bad so then that's also why I'm quite tired because obviously I'm not sleeping as well uh TMI but like either having like the runs diarrhea or not being able to go at all I'm also suffering really bad again this is TMI but this is what I'm here for uh pregnancy I didn't suffer with hemorrhoids piles whatever when I was pregnant with Jasper but after my labor I had like one <laughs> and it's been quite persistent and it's really painful now at the moment so I think I might go to the doctor about that because like I said it's kind of been like around for a couple of years now longer than that two and a half years um so yeah that's been sore that's been uncomfortable I've gone back to that kind of like not knowing what I want to eat because the nausea has been really bad this week I just have struggled with what to eat and I find the mornings are the worst like I wake up and have my breakfast I am loving just having a granny smith apple a nectarine strawberries great yogurt a bit of muesli and honey I'm happy with that and we have breakfast around like seven half seven um but then from sort of half past eight till about ten I feel disgusting I just feel so horrible so I then really struggle to know what to eat for like lunch and like the rest of the day and then come the evening I tend to feel a lot better um I actually went out with friends last night and I was happy to like eat whatever and I wasn't didn't feel nauseous around anyone else's food or anything but yeah it's been hard there's been a lot of just like random food like packets of rice with salad cream on uh Ritz biscuits iced lollies um the heat doesn't help but yeah the nausea is like another level I've also got written down here back to feeling hungover so that yeah that like nausea headachey tired feeling and then yeah that that's basically it for like week nine I did also have my um scan date come through which is so exciting so we have our scan on the 7th of August which is a Saturday so fingers crossed everything is okay with this little bean um and you're seeing this video and everything is um yeah I'm really excited I can't believe I'm like over 10 weeks now I can't believe I'm on that like final stretch before like people know in like it's been really nice because I've told like a few people so I did I don't feel so isolated this time um but it's gone quick like to think I found out when I was like four weeks and it's been like six weeks on from there I've done like a whole school holidays it's crazy but I'm gonna show you my belly because I started getting a bit bumpy like not just bloat bump 
around 10 weeks when I was pregnant with Jasper and this has been here for a couple of weeks but I'm going to show you just bear in mind this is the end of the day it's quarter to eight um so just bear that in mind but yeah so this is my obviously this is a bit bloated as well but this is my tummy at 10 weeks at the end of nine weeks 10 weeks pregnant I'm not going to show it bare because this here is like still quite loose skin from Jasper and excuse my underwear but yeah we're we're um we're struggling to hide this right now <laughs> yay for me but yeah two weeks to go so I will see you guys next week with my 10 to 11 week update hi sorry if it's really bright i'm sat right by the window but i mean natural light just waiting for my tea to warm up before i go pick up jess because it's been a work day for me today but i'm here to talk about week 10 i am now 11 and a half weeks but i kind of just like lost track and forgot to update on week 10 so let's talk about it i haven't actually got that much written down I've got a lot of like foodie bits put down um, and a couple of things, but basically week 10, I decided I really was into chocolate again, but not just like a chocolate bar. Um, I loved Nutella on toast, just like randomly as like a snack throughout the day, not like throughout the day, but like once a day. Um, and I am also obsessed with co Cocoa Pops. Like I'm probably having two bowls a day. It's kind of like, I don't tend to have it for my breakfast. I have something like healthier, because of health. Um, and then I have that as like my mid-morning snack or like my mid-afternoon snack. And I'm not lying, it's like a half a box of Cocoa Pops. I'm also loving Derrily Dunkers, the proper like cheese and onion tube ones. Really enjoying those, they are delicious so yeah i'm liking some sweeter things which is a bit weird for me um but i mean i'm not mad about it i also no also noticed during week 10 that like as the day went on my appetite became less so i could eat better throughout the day and then as the evening came um if i didn't eat by a certain time like i just like couldn't really eat my appetite was like compressed quite a lot we were actually away during week 10 um and i noticed that going out for meals a lot like i thought my eyes were like bigger than my belly and I just couldn't eat like how I used to um I'm also really into like fresh like smoked salmon and like prawns don't worry like I've googled it it's safe to eat like they're like the pre-cooked prawns and smoked salmon's fine um so I've been enjoying those so like starters I was loving like a prawn cocktail um yeah just mm, fresh fresh and cooling you know but yeah so I've been having a lot of daytime naps during week 10 they've kind of stopped now in week 11 kind of yeah I haven't had one for quite a while now like four days um but I was actually napping when Jasper napped which was really good because prior to that I was getting tired like after he woke up so it felt quite well so while we were away I just went to like sleep while he slept and I did the same like when we were at home um, but that's kind of stopped and then I also started taking my vitamins on an evening because they were making me feel so sick like a cut like for up to two hours after taking them. If I took them at say eight o'clock in the morning, right up until 10, half 10, I'd feel so nauseous. And I just can't do that with my work. Like, cause I'm hairdressing, I can't be feeling like that. So I stopped taking my vitamins in the morning. I now take them on an evening and it's been making things so much better. So that's all good. I'll probably pop up a picture of the bump up week 10 because like I said, I'm like halfway through week 11 now. So I will show you this one when we get to that point. Um, but yeah, we have an exciting week this week, which I can't wait to share with you guys. We've got our scan coming, which is really exciting. And then you guys will know all about this, but there isn't much to tell on week 10. Oh, constipation. I was quite constipated, actually. The constipation was hard. Um, <laughs> literally, <laughs> excuse the pun. Um, and I have still been vivid dreaming a lot but like not as bad so yeah things are looking on the up but i'm gonna go have my tea and i will see you back here for week 11. hi everyone so <clears throat> this is the last installment of this video because we are officially out of the first trimester we survived we did it we made it that's my crumpets popping out over there because crumpets are a thing 
Um, so obviously in the last clip I spoke about week 10. So this week I'm going to speak to you about week 11 and week 12, only because I think officially your second trimester is like week 13, which I am currently in. And then I'll move on to a second trimester video if I feel you guys would like to see that. But yeah, I haven't really got much to like update you on apart from week 11. I've got written down, I'm just looking at my phone, no more naps, the naps stopped, so la they lasted, what, a week or two, which is exactly the same as Jasper, as soon as I kind of got to, like, week 11, I, like, my energy was back a little bit, like, don't get me wrong, I still am flagging in the afternoon, like, I'm tired, but not enough where I feel like I actually need to sleep, I just go to bed a bit earlier, you know, I chill in the afternoons a bit more, I've also got written down achy boobs, so I've really noticed like more soreness in my boobs this time, like around this week, like if Jasper's to jump on me or like, I don't know, like grab me or something like I'm a bit like, oh, that was quite tender. They're not so bad now in week 13, but week 11 and week 12, they were quite sore and quite tender, especially like my nipple area. Like that was like really, really sore. Um, hormonal dreams, like my dreams have been mental again. They've been crazy. They wore off a little bit now, but week 11 and week 12, they're pretty hectic. Um, Marmite on crumpets, which is what I'm doing. I've been really enjoying crumpets again, whether that's just butter, Marmite or jam. I'm really into like the yeasty flavor of Marmite at the moment. So I've been enjoying that. Other food wise, I've been still loving these like cheese and broccoli pasta on the go packets, which I mean, health. Um, but they're quite low in fat and they're an easy lunch option. So I've been enjoying those. I'm also still eating Cocoa Pops quite regularly. I'm, I feel like now I'm like back to like, coming into week 12, I'm like back to like my normal eating. I still don't fancy particular things sometimes, but I feel like I can have a pretty relative like normal breakfast, lunch and eve, excuse me, I'm a bit burpy, an evening meal. So we're getting there. I'm still eating a lot. So I'm eating little and often still. Every sort of, the longest I go without food is probably like three hours max. Um, and I'm still loving sparkling water. Um, but other than that, things are pretty much the same. Um, I've also got random gagging. I'm at that stage still. Um, so it's the last two weeks, week 11 and week 12, where I just get these random urges to like retch. Like I don't feel sick. There's nothing making me feel sick. It's almost like if I've been talking too much, if I'm a bit dehydrated, I need a drink or I'm a little bit hungry, I can just like gag or if like something's up around my throat, even, sorry, even talking about it makes me want to retch. So that's kind of it. Like things have been, my energy's back up. We're just, I'm enjoying it. I'm forgetting a lot about it. We actually saw baby as well, which is a really big thing. We saw baby at exactly 12 weeks. We went for a private scan because my original NHS one got canceled. And when you've got your mind set on something, like your mind set on it, you know? So we saw baby and we got given our due date, which is the later part of February. Excuse the munching of onion rings to the side of me here. But today is the 7th of August, 2021. And basically today is meant to be the day of our 12 week scan. But we had a phone call early this morning to say that our scan had to be cancelled due to an emergency, which is obviously fine. But obviously for Dan and I, we were very excited to have our scan and to make sure baby's okay. We have not seen our baby at all. We've not had any early scans. Um, so we had a frantic morning, didn't we? Mm -hmm. Of trying to book a private scan. But everywhere in Bristol... Obviously, it's a Saturday, so everywhere in Bristol is completely booked up um, and we wouldn't have any scans basically till the like Monday onwards. And we don't know when our 12 week is being booked back in. I've got to wait to hear from the midwives on Monday. So we looked in like further areas that weren't too far. So we've actually come to Swindon, which is only about 45 minutes away, 40 minutes away from us. Um, and we're just waiting for our appointment now. So we're having a private one um, just to check the dates and to check baby's all okay. And if there's one or two or three or one, one. <laughs> um, and then we can go on to announce. So, yeah, I just wanted to obviously update this footage here and just to say where we're at in this pregnancy. Um, but yeah, I think today marks me at like 12 it is like weeks. On 12, isn't it, you said? Yeah, 12 weeks, like plus one. Or something, but this scan is from like eight weeks to sixteen. I want to say, Somewhere, okay. yeah. It's just it's not a um early scan. Well, it is an early scan, but it's just called a date only scan sort of thing. It was only a cheaper one, 
I think it was like forty-five pounds or something. Whereas the yeah, just to make sure everything's okay. Um, yeah, so it's currently like quarter two, and our appointment's in like ten minutes. So we're just chilling in the car. Dan's just had his onion rings. I've been drinking water to make sure my bladder. I can't believe you had these in the cupboard and you never told me. Ice buns. I go very nostalgic when I'm pregnant, and I used to eat ice buns a lot as um, a youngster. So yeah, so we bought them for the ride. I'm actually drinking sparkling water. I prefer it. I said to Dan at the moment, I really want, like I'm not finding water unless it's like ice cold, refreshing enough, but I don't want to drink any like fizzy drinks because I just can't drink anything sweet. It makes me feel, ugh. So I don't want like Coke or Sprite or anything like that. So sparkling water has been the one. You're brilliant. It's just a bread roll. With a bit of ice on top. But it's delicious. Yeah, do a bit of hard work from them now. Take your ice off. This is chat shit, honestly. Mm. So yeah, we will let you know. So I don't know if we're allowed to do any, like, um... No phones. Because on the door. Oh, yeah, so we're not allowed to take any videos or pictures in there, but everything will be sent to my phone so I can include all the images and stuff in a video at some point. So, yeah, let's go. <laughs> around Jasper's birthday which <laughs> obviously um, and that was beautiful and then that was at exactly 12 weeks and now we're just over 13 and we're going for our NHS scan tonight so I'm going to film some of that footage for you guys and I'm also inserting both a little bit of that footage of the scans within this here so you can see the full shebang of the first trimester i've also now got a new pregnancy pillow that dan bought me so that is happening in regards of sleep and like i said i'm just going to bed a bit earlier and just chill in um but that's it really i'm going to give you a little bump update obviously this is a 13 week old bump now but i'll flash up some images if i have some of week 11 and week 12 and like i said you'll see some footage but yeah it's been, I'm, I've been hormonal, like I, I've been a bit snappy and I feel in the mornings like my temper's a little bit higher and things like can annoy me a little bit quicker than they normally would or things that I would normally let go of my head don't. But other than that, things are okay and I feel like now we're out of the first trimester, we're truly on the up. Thank God. Thank God. So here is a little 13 week end of the first trimester bump update as you can see i feel like i'm bigger here which i don't know if that's just second baby syndrome but i'm quite high ah. there it is <laughs> So I realised I haven't ended this video so this is what I'm doing now. We went for a scan last night and it was lovely. It was our official 12 week scan which actually dated us at 14 weeks today. So my original scan date basically <laughs> baby's been a little bit like in weird positions to say the least. So measuring baby's been quite difficult to do. So we got told obviously it was going to be 12 weeks. Um, we were 12 weeks when we had our scan which dated was a Saturday whereas now we're being told baby's actually due on a different date which makes me sort of like three or four days ahead of what I thought I was so we're officially 14 weeks I had all my blood tests everything was fine baby was in better positioning but still wasn't like massively playing ball they were either like bolt straight or like curled up in a ball um, but yeah I'll quickly show you some pictures of the scan and I'll insert some as well but this marks actually the proper end of my first trimester. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. It's been sort of easier filming it this way, um, not having to like edit and upload sort of like weekly, just being able to like just pop all the clips together um, and make more of just like one big video about it. But yeah, so we will see you soon. My next video is gonna be my try to conceive video. Then I think I'm going to do a baby clothing haul. Then probably just some like vlogs and stuff. And then it'll be pretty casual from like here out. And then probably do like a second trimester vlog and so forth. So you've cut the grass, I know, darling. Thank you. Was it a bit long? You want me to come and see? 
All right, darling, I'll quickly shoot the scam and then I'll go attend to him. But thank you for watching. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to hit subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye. Here is little baby. Look at the little bub. So cute. With little pouting. <laughs>